Hey there, it's Joe with Sound Clear Disruptive. How are you? I'm going to listen to Silver Lake, the project by Issa, you know, the guy. I'm not going to pronounce his last name. The lead guitarist for Amorphous, the main songwriter for Amorphous. Speaking of Amorphous, that's a band that I haven't listened to that I will check out and get into hopefully soon because I've listened to... Uh, a couple tracks off this and I've really liked it. So I'm listening to Sentiment because it features Jonas Renski, one of my favorite vocalists probably of all time, I think, at this point. Um, so yeah, I don't know what's taken me so long to check this out. I was meaning to right away and then I just never did. But here we go. Sentiment by Silver Lake starts right now.
All right, so I indeed do have to listen to Amorphous because if this guy's the main songwriter and the lead guitarist for the band, I'm probably going to really enjoy it because this is only, what, the second or third song I've listened to from this album, but I really love his style. His There's a minimalist approach here that I really enjoy. It just He really has a way of grabbing a hold of that melody and just milking everything out of it without adding in a bunch of other crap. Now, normally, I love a bunch of other crap added in because I love the guitar, you know? But in his style, I love just this, uh, you know, just doing the melody and getting on with it and not getting bogged down in a 100 notes that really don't affect it that much. So I enjoy that. Lyrically, this has to be written by Jonas. It's got to be. He has a very specific way he writes his lyrics, and this is his lyrical style to be certain. So his voice is, it's great. It's soothing. It is just, it feels good to my soul every time I hear his voice. And that's why I love Catatonia because I hear his voice and it just makes me feel good, sad maybe at the same time, but good in some weird way. And this does the same thing. It puts you in that very same place that Catatonia music puts you in. Very, very Catatonia inspired at least. And it's minimalist, but the chord progression here isn't what your ears necessarily expect. There's some really interesting ideas that they pick up on here. And the chord progression here on the course is really interesting. And it's really, it's something that you'd have to hear a few more times to really pick out the intricacies here on what he's doing. A lot of extensions here. And um, it's very enjoyable, very musical, and um, just a soothing, good, well-crafted song. So, yeah, I'm glad I listened to this. Thank you very much for this recommendation. See ya.